Toberger's sister apparently became suspicious of his behavior over the holidays when he was staying with the family after allegedly killing four people. He came home for the holidays. Home for the holidays after possibly committing a quadruple murder. Uh, where is this? Okay. Who is, however... Let's watch the video. Koberger's own sister became suspicious of his involvement in the Idaho murders during his time at home. According to our source, investigators learned the following. One of Brian's two older sisters, home for the holidays, brought up an uncomfortable topic. The sister had noticed Brian had been wearing latex gloves. She thought it odd. And at some point, the sister, quite loudly, pointed out that at the time of the murders in Moscow, Brian had lived just a few miles away in Pullman, and that Brian drove a white Elantra, a car that law enforcement across the nation was looking for. Add that to the gloves. And the sister said she thought the Koberger family should consider that Brian might have killed the four students in Moscow. Now the piece Jesus. I mean, talk about Detective Koberger right there. That's pretty good. Uh, imagine that realization. And, like, I wonder if she had been thinking that already. Because you hear White Elantra, or I, I know when I heard White Elantra, even here in uh, California, I was like, hmm, do I know anybody who has a White Elantra? So you're like, oh, my brother drives a White Elantra and lives near there. Uh-oh. Latex gloves. What the hell? I mean, I know he was uh, supposedly a bit of an oddball, but that had to be an unsettling realization and likely ruined the holiday experience. Thanksgiving, you'll never forget. Let's keep watching what the pundits had to say. It was on Emily to say that his father felt strongly it was not the case. And then we know by December 30th is when SWAT was kicking in their door, the FBI coming in and taking him under arrest and seizing things inside of their family home. But this is big information for a family that's watching him as he's moving inside of their home, is it not? This is a lot of information. I wonder if Brian Koberger was worried that the law enforcement was going to go through the trash and try to find fingerprints and DNA, which is exactly what they did. And they only found familial DNA to his father. And it would be very odd indeed to have someone walking around the family home constantly wearing gloves, given all the other circumstances. I'm not surprised it raised alarm bells. I'm more surprised that the sister talked to the media about it. Well, it sounds like they have a source who gave them that information. But Jason Jensen wanted to ask you a similar question to that reaction to that information. We know when we saw the search warrant in this. I mean, look, maybe that sister sees the writing on the wall. She doesn't want to wind up like Brian Laundrie's parents and have everyone turning to look at them now because of their, uh, you know, potential complicity and everything. If you read that art, that uh, letter that she wrote, I will show up. If you need to bury a body, I will show up with a shovel and a, and a bag or something. She claims she wrote it before Laundry went on the trip with Gabby Petito, Petito, but who knows? If you're in jail, I will bake a cake and put a file in it so you can break out. Like, I think uh, Sister Koberger is thinking, yeah, maybe I want to get ahead of this. You know, because they already lost their jobs, I believe. I know I did a story about that like months ago, like. Koberger sisters had lost their jobs. You know, everyone's probably looking at them weirded out. You're not going to be like, hey, you want to hang? You want to get lunch? While your brother's on trial for uh, quadruple murder? So, you know, to answer the woman in glasses uh, uh, question, you know, it might she just might be thinking like, look, I, I wonder if it's the sister who was the actress because she probably has a little bit more uh, media training. So she's thinking like, Brian probably did it. We better get out there and start telling our side of the story. Hey, I thought he was weird. I thought he did it too. That the police did recover four medical style latex gloves. And it seemed a bit strange that that would have anything to do with the accusations in this case because he wasn't in the area anymore. Why would he still need gloves when he's at home? But it seems like that answers a bit of the question. 
Yeah, exactly. With him being a criminology, you know, major going to, for his doctorate, he's going to know they about did. police techniques like trash poles and things of that nature. So clearly wearing his gloves at home, he's preparing for that just in such an event. So it's not a surprise, but it should have sent alarm bells for the entire family. I mean, look, he could also be a germ freak. There's a lot of those out there. Maybe the house isn't particularly clean. He's used to living his very clean life where he's vacuuming at 3 a.m. Um, and, you know, like comes home. That, that's in uh, in Pullman, Washington at his own place. Then he comes home and mom and dad haven't been keeping the house too clean. So he pops on the latex gloves. I mean, look, either way, he's on trial. So I'm not trying to excuse that. <laughs>